so I'll, I'll just sort of talk it through this one. This is this is an, uh, what we're going to get set up for is an inverted flat spin. It's absolutely the worst thing that could possibly happen to you in an airplane, especially in an air show, is if a maneuver translates into an inverted flat spin. And the reason is, is not because it's crazy and uncontrolled or anything like that, it, but the reason is, is that it's going to take a certain amount of altitude recovered, no matter what. It's going to take at least a thousand feet to recover from the spin. Um, and so, in, when you're obviously when you're flying in an air show environment, many times you're below a thousand feet. So, what you got to do is you got to make sure that none of the maneuvers will turn into it. Um, and that's one of the reasons why when you train for an air show, you always train high altitude. It's because when you're developing a new, new maneuver, then you never know, uh, never know if or when or how the maneuver will translate into an inverted flat spin. And so what you got to do when you're training is you come up with, uh, you know, exactly how the airplane is going to react. If it does get into the spin, what will cause it to transition into the spin? You can see it's perfectly stable flight. And uh, all you got to do to recover is power idle, full opposite rudder, stick to neutral. The airplane will pop right out of it. Then you got to really tighten up your body because you feel the G is coming out the bottom.